hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will be exploring laravel form request validation a powerful feature in laravel that allows you to validate incoming form data in a more structured and organized manner by the end of this video you will have a good understanding of how to use form request validation to keep your code clean and maintainable while ensuring that your application remains secure first of all we have to create a request uh, to create request we have to open our terminal and write php artisan make request and give it a name I, I will give it a product request name and hit enter uh, it's created successfully now if we go to our app folder uh, inside app folder if we go to http and request we can see that our product request is has been created so let's start and by creating some validations for our form so first uh, first of all i have i'm inside authorize i'm going to return true and in here i am going to use my input uh, name i'm going to use my old form which i have created in my last video and uh, my ajax code if you haven't watched my last video which was how to submit a form using ajax so please go and uh, watch that i'm going to use this okay so i'm going to use my input name copy my input name and inside products request here i am going to paste it and here i am going to write inside an array i am going to write my validations i am going to start from the basic validations then by the end of the video i am going to use more complex validations so stay up uh, if you want to learn about it stay up to end of the video so let's start with uh, simplest validation which is required this uh, validation means that the field cannot be null it has to has a value now inside my product controller uh, inside submit method which handles my saving the data i am going to use my validation here which is product request here so now let's go to browser and uh, refresh my page let's press the save button so we got an error let's check the error and in here we see the message is the name field is required so now let's write something let's add something in here for example a b c and save as you can see if it has a value it will pass otherwise it will fail so now let's move to, to the next validation the next validation would be for example i am going to want this field should be numeric the type should be a number and the minimum value should be 10 and the maximum value should be 20. now let's go and uh, refresh our page or uh, let's write here something abc now save in here we see that uh, the name field must be a number and one more error so if we see inside the array it said it must be a number and the field must be at least 10 so let's write an number here for example i am going to write 9 save still got error then field must be at least 10 so let's write here 21 save still got the uh, and now let's write 15 save let's check mm. it's added successfully now let's move to the next validation in here so for our next validation let's add two more field here for example input type and number 
name should be first value and copy i will copy this and write here second value let's copy them and i comment this out I will say it's required and in a second value here I will add a, another validation which I will say the second value should be greater than first value I will write here GT which means greater than first and I will write the field name similarly we have one more which is greater equal GTE uh, which means it should be greater than this value or it should be equal to this value let's uh, test for example this one greater equal let's go to browser refresh okay in here this is our first value if i write uh, two and in our second input if I write one and press save we get error the second value field must be greater than two so there are some uh, such situations that you don't want this default uh, message you have to write your own message in here you are, for example in your own language uh, or you want a customized message so let's see how we can do that to achieve that we have to write another method down here uh, public function and the name of the method should be messages in here I'm going to return an array which I will write uh, the field name for example this one dot the validation for which validation I am going to write the message for example this in here I am going to write uh, please enter a value which is greater than first value so now let's check this okay so press save and we can see that we got here our uh, customized message using here so now let's move I will comment this out this one also so now let's move to our next validation for example we want let's uncomment this also we want the second value should be less then the first value or equal to this similar we ha uh, have uh, here l t which mean le less than i will write the value similar to our greater than and greater or equal to we have uh, less than and also and less than equal it means that it should be less than this value or equal to this value uh, <clears throat> another validation which i am going to write here is between so this uh, will take two values for example 10 the minimum should be 10 and the maximum value should be 20. let's check this one in our uh, browser Okay, I, for example, I will write 22. It gives us error and it says the second value must be between 10 and 20. Okay, let's move to next validation. So what does this validation mean? It means that this uh, uh, input is required only when this field 
have some specific value for example let's copy here the field name and let's give it a value of 10 so now this one is required only when it this one's value is 10 otherwise it's not required let's check to our database i will write here 8 press the save button and it's uh, added successfully now let's write 10 and save so we got an error it says the second field is required when first value is 10 okay so now let's write something here also and save add it successfully now our next validation is required with so what does this mean it means that if this uh, our uh, this uh, field have a value then this one is required otherwise it's not required for example if i put both of them blank empty then uh, press the save button okay so here i will remove the required of this also uh, I will say it's nullable. Now, let's check. So, it's added successfully. Now, let's say I will add a value in here. Save. We got an, another error. It says the second field is required when the first field, first value is present. So, now let's add a value here. So, it's added uh, similarly we have another uh, validation which is a uh, required without like we give the it needs uh, the field name it means this field is required when this one is uh, not present we or this one is null so if it, this one is null so this this one is required let's check it in our browser for, let's uh, press save as you can see we got an error now <clears throat> uh, if we add in here a value it's saved no error or if we add a value in here again save which means one of them should be uh, uh, what uh, one of them should be available the next validation is unique let's say you want a column and your table should be unique uh, so how we can do it we have a validation of unique and in here we need uh, first of all we need the table name for let for example product then the column name so i am going to copy this one also from here and paste it here so now let's move to our browser and check it so i will write here test press save as you can see it's saved successfully now i want to save it again so it gave me an error that then the name has already been taken so now uh, suppose uh, we we want some validation which is not available in our uh, in the documentations we want some uh, customized validation uh, which is not available i will put the link of this validation in description also so let's see now how we can make a custom validation for our, our uh, form request okay so let's start uh, add uh, start here by adding a new input type so let's say uh, this first value plus second value should be equal to third value let's make a custom validation to check that this sum of this two should be equal to this otherwise it should fail to make our custom validation 
uh, we have to add it in a new validation in here which was third value inside this I will uh, open an array and I will write my function so this function would have three parameters the first one is attribute the second one is value and the third one is fail inside this function I am going to check if this my first value plus my second value first value plus second value if not equal to value then it should fail so in here I am going to write the fail method and I will write my message uh, for example I will say the uh, sum of first value and second value should match the third value so this is our custom validation that's how we can make it so let's check it in our the browser let's refresh mm. let's uh, rerun the php artisan serve it okay now let's refresh our page okay we got it so now if i write here six here also six and in here ten let's save we got an error which uh, show in the message button show our message so now let's write here 12 so okay it came from database it means this one is so as you can is as you guys can see that this is the way we can make our custom validation thanks a lot guys if you enjoyed the video if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys next time